YouTube, YouTube. Boah. First we back. I don't need no more time off like that. Two weeks. I'm burnt. I am burnt. And it's just... It's just Wednesday. Burnt. Dog on air conditioner. I don't know what it's doing. It's blowing. It was blowing good yesterday. It was blowing good actually this morning, but once I got to driving, it I don't know. So I'm gonna get that checked out. Um I got the truck back. Last, yeah, last Friday, I went over there, got it back, um, didn't pick up a load, I just came, just came back to the house, I was going to get an alignment done, but I got in the shop, and everything set up, guy got, got all the machines and stuff on the tires to get everything set up, then he comes to tell me, Oh, well, the tool that we use, um, we done lost it or someone stolen it. So I can't, I can't actually do the alignment. I said, all right, cool. Fine with me, you know, just, just go on to the house. So the driver manager called me Sunday with a load that wasn't too far away from the house that was going up to Detroit. So ran it up there, got up there Tuesday, and the only issue is I really don't like going up 65. I really don't like it. Um, I don't know um, if I need to get an overhead done, which is something I said I wanted to do. I want to get an overhead adjustment done, and I was reading some things that guys said they may give you a little bit more power, but heels and stuff in this truck it's um this is a struggle i don't like going up 65 uh, i hate going through louisville i just hate it i mean it's it's bad but um cincinnati bad i mean it's been i've been driving trucks for five years now and cincinnati has been bad for five years been bad for five years, people. Five years. I want, but you know what? Being honest, I think it's actually worse now, because I remember when I was still with TMC, you could probably get through there 50, 55. But now I went through there, and I'm talking about it was like five in the morning, and the sign was lit up. Um, 45 mile an hour traffic uh, up ahead at 5 a.m. And I wasn't even on the side of Cincinnati that was like coming into the city. I was like northern part of Cincinnati, like leaving the city. So I'm like, it shouldn't be too much traffic out here for, you know, for 45 miles an hour. But, you know, obviously I was wrong. But once you get out of there, get up into Dayton, it smooths out a little bit. I've only been to Detroit two times. I went to once in TMC and then um, Tuesday was my second time going. Um, so I got up there. Then I picked up some out of Detroit. Took it over to Rockford, Illinois, which is what I dropped off um, this morning. And what was supposed to have been a three hour drive turned into about four or five hours. I mean, I got into Chicago and there's one thing I can say about Chicago. You're not necessarily going to come to a standstill, but you're going to take your time getting through there. And then the Rockford, where I was actually delivering to, I've never been over there before. I mean, it's just like a, like, I don't like going to towns and picking things up or dropping things off. I don't really like going through towns because a lot of times 
the route that you're supposed to go on in the truck, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta use your CDL a little bit. You know, you got a lot of button hook turns. You got watch for traffic. They're getting your blind spot just like today. I was making a right turn, but I was somewhat kind of straggling the middle line, the middle lane, and the other lane because I knew if I got all the way in the right lane, I wasn't gonna make the turn. And so a guy in a truck pulled right up beside me, and the light was red. He seen it was clear. He, you know, he pulled off. So next thing I did, I looked in my mirror, make sure nobody else was gonna get right there. You know, because it's almost like if they see your signal light on, it's like, oh well, let, let me get right there. You know, I hope he don't see me. You know, but that was that. Um, I went and got some money at the ATM, but because I was thinking that the toll roads with the people in the tolls, they would be back working, but now it's, they they still pay it online. So um, got that money out for nothing. So make sure I put it back because. I'll be, I might, I might spend it, but you really can't spend it because it's a coin shortage in some parts still, but, but yeah, you know, going back to the truck. So I was driving Monday and I came to the realization like, dang, a few mileage is off. Like I usually get about 1200 miles to a tank what's a fill up so to speak and I had driven about 347 miles and I was already at half and I was like somebody ain't right so my first thought was okay maybe the gauge is inside the tank maybe one of them is off and I actually have more diesel than I think I have but I said I'm not gonna risk it when it gets to a quarter you know I'm gonna go back and get some diesel so yesterday morning I went to a TA uh, put the tank, I mean, you know, put the lever in the driver's side. I went over to the passenger side. So I clicked the passenger side, it clicked right back off. I clicked it again, it clicked back off. So then I just kind of hit it. The next thing I know, the diesel came out. And I said, oh, we're only pulling out of one tank now. So I said, how do I get uh, an issue fixed and y'all just got me working off of one tank? So when I stopped yesterday, it was raining, man. So I had to get out in the rain and get up underneath the truck. And so it's like it's a lever underneath. So it was pushed to the to the driver's side. So I said, well, let me push it over to the passenger side. So I pushed it over to the passenger side and started leaking. So I said, how in the world do I have a truck in the shop for two weeks? And y'all have to turn the fuel off to change out the line. Y'all have to do that. And nobody notices that we still have a leaky fuel line. So I shoot it back to the left. The fuel leak stops. So I called, I called the shop. And hindsight, I... I don't want them working on my truck anymore. I didn't like the customer service. I didn't like calling in the morning, get one answer, then call in the afternoon, get another answer. So it, it was no consistency for the entire two weeks. So what I did was, hey man, it go a yacht. I mean, you can't see it, but How much that costs? That's one thing I do not want. I would not want to. I would not want to have no boat. I don't want to be liable for nothing like that. No, 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 no. I know they probably make good, but I don't want nothing to do with that. But anyway, let me get back off of this tangent. So I called and they was like, "Well, you can bring the truck back by." And I was like, "I don't want to do that because I didn't like the courtesy. I didn't like your. I didn't like your professionalism. I didn't like nothing about the shop." Now while, now, while you were there, while I was there, you know, it was communication, communication. But when you four hours away, you're calling back and forth, man, they tell you anything because you're not there. And so I said, well, oh, well, 
when I get back to the house, I'm just going to get the lines and fix it myself. And I was talking to my wife. And my wife was like, why don't you call corporate? And I was like, I don't, I'm not going to call corporate. Because the way I look at it is like, y'all have contracts with smaller companies in that, in that town. Y'all have mega carriers that are going to come through there who probably have people on payroll whose job it is to call every hour on the hour, right? And if in nine times out of ten, they're probably going to place the driver in the hotel. So they're going to call the shop, they're going to call the driver, make sure the driver is on top of things too, right? They're going to continue to follow up. But I was like, I could call, I could complain. But I don't want I don't want you working on my truck anymore. And I told her, I said, this ain't like McDonald's or nothing where like you call and complain. They say, okay, well, next time you're in there, uh, free Big Mac meal on us. They're not going to say, hey, next time you're in the area, swing by and we'll give you a free oil change. And I'll, Which, again, I don't want y'all doing nothing to the truck. Because the way I'm looking at it, I was in a bind. I couldn't move the truck. I was a I was a hazard. I would hate to see what a ticket would have been, a fine would have been if a DOT would have seen that fuel leak. I don't even want to think about it. So that's the only good thing out of the entire situation that that line was was fixed and that was that. But now I have to stop after I can get about five five hundred miles maybe a little bit more out of out of this tank it's 120 gallons so i can get about five five fifty some odd miles out of it maybe close to 600 but i don't run it down to eat so right at five you know i'm gonna go ahead and top it back off so i don't feel like just stopping every single time you know every day getting diesel because you know you didn't do the job but it's all well and good. I'm um, I'm gonna jump on it this weekend and get it squared away, and it's gonna be that. You know, I just hate that I spent that amount of money for I don't even want to say a half job or a fourth of a job, really. Or maybe a third. I'll give them a third. Right? But, right now I made it down to Kentucky. I got what they call some slinkies. I'm sure y'all probably, if you flatbed, you know what slinkies are. If you don't, it's just like some metal rolled up. They call them slinkies because they look like slinkies. Right? So, and, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday, so. I need to get something heading back to either Mississippi or Alabama or something. And that way Friday and go on and to the house because Monday's Labor Day. So there's that. But I will say um, it was a good week back. Um, so if I, I, hit my, I hit the number that I want to hit yesterday. So this load and whatever I pick up tomorrow they'll just be icing on the cake but my IFTA is due which is about 6 I believe it's 647 so that's due and since I got a temporary tag um, I gotta get my tag next month so I ain't really not worried about it right now but the extra that's, that's I already spent on other stuff anyway. I mean, like I said, I was at the house for two weeks and stuff like that, so um, just replace the money back into my little reserve that I had. So if it happens again, I can go back to the reserve, so. Yep, but this video ran over a little bit more than I wanted to run, so be back to y'all tomorrow, and for all the drivers out there, be safe. No load planes.